everybody and welcome back to Shell Eats. On today's, I always do that. Welcome back to Shell Eats. And why don't you guys go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I want to thank all of my new subscribers. Everybody who's new who came and subscribed to my channel, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yes, I do. I really appreciate you. On today's menu, I will be doing the Burger King be Impossible Burger. Yeah, that's what it's called, Impossible Burger. The Burger King Impossible Burger. And then I bought a Whopper Junior just so I can compare it. I didn't want to get a big Whopper because I know I'm not going to eat two burgers. So I got the Whopper Junior just so that I can test it out to see if it's the same because they said it's impossible. So it's impossible for this to be some beef, but it's supposed to taste like beef. Y'all believe that? I don't know, but we're going to see if we believe it. It smells kind of weird to me, but I'm going to try it. I, I really am. I'm going to try it. I also got some little mozzarella sticks over here. I asked him, can I have those instead of fries? Because I just bought the Whopper uh, Junior meal. This bread is kind of hard, but yeah. So let's get into the bit T.O. Well, should I try this first? I guess that's what y'all came here for on the Impossible Burger. So why don't I try the Impossible Burger? I got me some barbecue sauce, some ranch, and some, well, they gave me some marinara sauce for, oh, some type of juices coming out of here. I don't know. But do they put ketchup on it like they do the Whopper? Let's see. This is what it looks like, though. It's like, well, there's the other stuff. But it looks, I, 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 don't, I guess it looks like meat. I don't know. But. It smells like vitamins or something to me. I don't know about to everybody else, but to me, it smells like some type of vitamin is in it, but I'm not sure, but we're going to try it. But I think, I, uh, you know what? I don't have any ketchup. So I'm just, I'm going to eat it like it is. They put ketchup on it, but not enough for me. And I'm not going to get up and go over there and get ketchup. So, well, you know what? I'm going to try it without any type of sauce first, and then I'll try it. With, but I need ketchup on my burger. I didn't get no onions because I don't eat those things. Not raw, at least. I wouldn't say that it's bad. Like, it's not horrible. It's not nasty, period. It's actually not bad at all. But I, don't, I wouldn't say that it tastes like meat. You know what it kind of tastes like to me? You know those little um, Salisbury steaks that they buy, that you buy out of the grocery store, the frozen section that came with the mashed potatoes and corn? We used to eat those when we was a kid. They was a dollar. I think they probably like $3 now, but when we were younger, they was a dollar. That's what that meat tastes like. It tastes like the Salisbury steak um, Thing, but it's not bad. I would I would buy it over you know the beef because I really don't eat beef like that. So, and I've been saying that I don't eat beef like that, but it seems like I've been eating a lot of beef. Yeah, I don't know, but I'm gonna have to go a little while without beef for a minute because I can't keep doing this to myself. Beef takes a very long time to digest out of your system. These things is cold. They're good though, but they're cold. But it did take me a little while to get home from Burger King because it's not like right down the street. Their our marinara sauce is really good. It has kind of like a sweet, sweet tangy. So I'm going to try the Whopper Junior, even though I've tried the Whopper Junior before, but I just want to compare it to see if maybe one day I can become a vegan. I probably won't go that far as being maybe vegetarian. And I just have a coke. I don't need it. But I got it. Because I think only the, the restaurants only sell like if you want something that's not carbonated, they have that lemonade, that light lemonade, and that stuff is gross to me. It it has a funny aftertaste. You can taste all the artificial sugars or whatever them sugars, them sugar substitutes. You can taste it. So here's my little Whopper Junior. My Whopper Junior. Perfect size for me. 
But yeah, Whopper Jr. I'm acting silly today. I just came from the gym, you guys. I went to the gym on a Saturday. I don't never go on a Saturday. But today I went because I didn't go on Wednesday. And I'm trying to keep my five days a week to go. So I didn't go on Wednesday. So I said I'll go on Saturday. So I went today. And that little girl who likes to make noise. Yeah, that's her. She's making noise right now. I got the water running and everything. I just told her I was doing a video. But she act like she don't understand English sometimes. I'm going to have to start speaking to her in Spanish maybe. And I don't even know Spanish. But maybe if I make up something, she'll realize don't make noise while your mama is doing the video. These burgers are dry. Well, at least that one is. This one was some type of juice was um popping out of that one. It's good though. It. I mean, it's not beef. It doesn't taste like beef. But I could eat it. I would eat this over a regular Whopper, knowing that I'm eating a little more healthier. So I would eat this. I would buy it again, even though I'm not really a big Burger King fan. I barely even go to Burger King. But since I saw the the little Impossible Burger, I said, I'm going to go try that. You know, and show it to my friends on YouTube. My family. And I'm not going to say my friends. Y'all my family. We family. Yeah, we here. Mm-hmm. Y'all know what I mean? So now I'm going to try this Impossible Burger with some barbecue sauce. Because I like sauce. Sauce, 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 sauce. Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. Should I put some ranch on it too? I like ranch. You know, this will probably be good if they put some... If they make this like their... Don't they have like a rodeo burger or something? Or is that Jack in the Box? I don't know. I think Burger King has a rodeo burger. But they put onion rings barbecue sauce on it. They probably should make it. A barbecue sauce one. I would probably eat that one too because I love barbecue sauce. Well, I like sauce, period. So, so my little bite with ranch, ranch and barbecue sauce. Takes it up, couple of notches. It's good. Yes, I would buy this burger. It's juicy too. It's like juice coming all off of my hand. It's juicy. Unlike this meat that's supposed to have juice. And the meat is supposed to be juicy. And there ain't nothing coming out of there. It's dry. But this is good. I would eat this. Like I said, when I was bringing it home, I was smelling in the bag. And I'm like, that don't smell too good to me. I don't, I don't think I want to eat that. But it doesn't taste like it smells. It's, to me, it smells like vitamins. But it's actually good. It, it really is. It's good. It is. I don't know my little presentation ain't too, but let y'all see that. What do um, cause our AB say hit a little hit with a little but <laughs> I love her. She's so hilarious. I really could hang out with her. Look at chill. Get you one because it's not bad. I actually thought that it was going to taste like some vegetables and hay or something. Something that I wouldn't want to eat. But it's it's actually good. Now I need to try those Beyond Meat tacos from Del Taco. I heard they're good. But I'm not a big fan of Del Taco either. My daughter loves that place though. She loves Del Taco. I think there's only, there's two things I eat off their menu and that's their uh, fish tacos and those um, caramel bites. Cheesecake bites are so good. It's a sin to eat those. You Don't eat those. Don't eat them. If you go and get them, y'all say, lady, you doing Burger King. You talking about Del Taco? Because I brought up those cheesecake bites and they're really good. I can't help it, sis. Them cheesecake bites is off the chain, but a sister trying to lick, lose some um some um, inches around her waistline. I shouldn't be eating this, huh? I shouldn't. I know, but it's okay. I won't eat anything fried for the rest of this week. 
Let me not lie because then I'll come to y'all with. But you know, guys, know what? I may not because I ordered a um, an air fryer so that when I do the little hot Cheeto things, I'm not eating all that grease. So if I eat something fried, it'll be out of my air fryer. It will not be something fried. Like I will not go to the store and get some French fries. I know y'all can't see that, but I ain't going to get no French French fries. I need to eat a salad. But go get you in an impossible burger because it is good. It's nice and tasty. Go get you one. Let me see. I'm, I'm just y'all. I'm silly today. I was silly yesterday too. I, I'm silly every day. I just this is just me. It, this is me. This is me. 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 Look like I ain't got no neck with this um, thing on this. This little shirt that I wore to the gym. It's a crop top, but my stomach ain't hanging out because my pants come up to here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. My pants don't come up to there, but my stomach ain't hanging out. I wouldn't. If I had a flat stomach, my stomach wouldn't be hanging out. Sure wouldn't. When I weighed 0, 0.0 pounds, I never wore my stomach out. So I, I probably wouldn't do it now. I probably would. That's probably why God ain't gonna give me no flat stomach because he know I'm probably be something else. I'm eating tomatoes too, y'all. I don't like tomatoes, but because they put them on here, I will eat them. I'm that type of person. I don't like tomatoes and I don't hate them either. But if you put them on something that I'm eating, I will eat it. But I could have said no tomatoes, but I know y'all like food that looks pretty, even though I wouldn't say that look pretty, but you know, you like color. Y'all like colorful stuff. That is really juicy. Really, really juicy. Unlike this, it's supposed to be. It's neat. So, where did you. Where, yeah, yeah. Got me kind of thinking where's the juice coming from out of this thing? And this is meat. It ain't no juice coming out of it. Hmm. What you talking about, Willis? Okay, I'm about to let y'all go. Dude, this just was a little taste test video. I'm gonna bite this. And let y'all go. I know I said in the beginning, but I'm gonna say it at the end. I'm gonna do it every time. Like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with every and anybody that you may know. And hit the bell so that you will be notified of any time that I post a new video. And again, I want to thank all my new subscribers. I have grown really well. I wouldn't say grown really quick, but it's my, my numbers are going up pretty, pretty rapidly. And I'm proud of myself. You should be proud of yourself, too. But I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I really and truly appreciate you guys for coming and by and watching my videos and putting up with my foolishness. Thank you so very much. I will see you on the next video on tomorrow. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.